what's going on Keith this is Daniel from Josh and Danny SEO so we're gonna take a quick look at your website see what's going on and see if we can do anything so right off the bat love that you have your number over here it's great you have a good logo which is awesome I don't know why it's a hyperlink but that's fine you have home about services this is not a drop-down menu I would say fix that because uh, what you want is somebody to come to your website scroll over this essentially see all the websites uh, see all the services you offer click on the one they want go read about it and then call you that's exactly what you want you want them on here for 45 seconds maximum well, I, don't, I don't know i made that number up but you want them on here as least amount of possible uh projects review contact those are fine welcome to our services so i mean you're just providing fine interior and exterior painting but there's so much more you do than just interior exterior painting you do uh, drywall repair i'm sure popcorn ceiling removal i'm pretty sure you have to do power washing in order to clean the exterior of the house and then paint it i'm pretty sure you also do deck and fence uh anyway our services three office painting interior painting um i mean it's fine that it kind of is in like a thingy but why choose us license our mission and vision that's great this is good i would probably have it on the top of the page our clients say about us nothing wrong with having those on here as well COVID 19 update um, I guess in certain parts of the area it is still going on and then obviously all your contact and then your social media excellent uh, Solid um, only thing I'm gonna say to you is is that um, that service drop down menu is number one and then number two is content content is key Google likes seeing about 35 uh, sorry not 3500 but about 1500 to 2000 words of content on your homepage alone um, uh, So let's take a look at the back end of your business see how Google kind of ranks you and see what's going on so right off the bat, a UR rating is how much Google likes your website, and a DR rating is how much Google actually trusts you. So you have a strong website. I mean, it's 13. Strong is a relative term. You want these in the 30s and 40s with a ratio of 1 to 1. Now, you do have 67 backlinks. Now, a backlink is when you have your website link or whatever link is up here somewhere else that somebody can click on, and a referring domain is when it actually returns back to you. Now, out of the 26 referring domains, you actually only have 11 that come back to you. Um, now, as far as backlinks go, not all are created equal. Some are more spammy than others, like BuzzFeed and Wikipedia. Definitely do not want those. You want good, strong blogs that talk about painting and stuff like that and everything that it is that you, uh, uh, as far as services you're offering. But then finally, you got organic keywords, right? What are people typing in Google to find you? So a keyword is what anyone might type in Google to find the services you offer or find any service they are searching for. So you have four of them or three that you're actually ranking for. Quality finishes, New York quality finishes, quality finishes services. The issue with all of these is that they are your name, which means that anyone in the world can actually type that in, which means that they're not location specific. You want a keyword to be something like this. So I saw on the bottom, your address is the Bronx. I know you, uh, you offer all over New York. I'm just gonna pick the Bronx. So we got painters, Bronx, New York. Now with this, this is location specific and it's service specific. And that's pretty much how Google ads work. They're location and service specific. And that's what, um, whenever you do that and you're ranking for keywords like that, that is what um, uh, we call a buyer intent keyword. People are ready to buy with those. But here we got our Google guaranteed. You, Interesting, they have it twice, which is, I guess they might have two different areas. Okay, that's pretty stupid of them. But anyway, I didn't say anything. 424. 570, two different numbers for the same. That's actually going to hurt them more in the long run, but anyway. Um, and then all of a sudden over here, we got our GMB Google My Business profile. Very important to be in here. looks like you are, so excellent job on that. Uh, you have a decent, I mean, only 44. They're all five-star ratings. Great. You. I hope you're uh, responding to them. Anyway, you're doing pretty good on that. The second thing is now we have our organic search. We got Yelp, Serta Pro. I would look at Serta Pro and kind of show you what they're doing to be the best, but this is they're all over the United States, so it's going to be a little uh, skewed. So we got Home Advisor, Angie's List, and Precision Painting Plus. So let's actually take a look at them and see what's going on. I wonder if I spoke with these people. I may have. Anyway, as far as back end goes, this uh, is a back page of a back page. See, this is their home page over here. And then you have your locations on New York City Painters slash Bronx. So, I mean, they might just be all over the tri-state area. As you can see, it's an 877 number, so I don't know if that's more of a, you know, general number but anyway let's see what they got so they got the services see it's a drop down menu now they could be a lot more expressive with that like i know interior painting is you know like sheetrock and drywall i know they got cabinet you know stuff like that as well as exterior so you you want to be as detailed as possible with it now you got bronx painters which is good that's actually a good keyword right over there um and and that's what you're trying to do right in the content you want to sneak in those things i don't know why you have the same one like 10 times over i would probably switch it over to something else like maybe bronx painters you know uh, new york bronx painters something like that but long outstanding awards again not really helpful but it's okay precision painting plus superior honesty on time uh superior quality again they're not talking about what it is they do which is a problem you want to talk about your services here we go do they talk about them? Residential painting, great. So you see how they have a paragraph on each one? You don't, that's it? God, that's terrible. You want to talk about each and every single one of them. 
that gives you more content, which gives you the ability to, um, you know, get more keywords in there, talk about what it is, give people the idea. I'm only doing this because I'm looking for keywords in here as well. I can tell who does their sites professionally and if they're actually good or not. View our portfolio. I love this kind of skyline thing. That's really nice. Um, interior, exterior painting. I don't know why they split it up across the page over there. That was really, really foolish of them. Power washing. Oh, see, now it comes out. Power washing. See, told you. Wallpaper removal, wool winning painting company. All right, so they got a lot more content than, uh, but it, they just moved it all around in the wrong areas. Like, like they didn't have it all in the same areas, which is a problem. Uh, I still am going to hold what I say about this stuff over here. They have more location pages than service pages. But anyway, let's take a look at the back end, see what's going on with their website, and see why they're winning. Now, again, Soda Pro still beats them out, but, you know, they're still local, so they win. So they have a UR rating of 4 and a DR rating of 32. Now, um... That's pretty good. They do have 8,760 backlinks with only 805 referring domains with 704 actually returning back to them. That ratio is terrible. I don't know how, I mean, but those 704 might be extremely powerful on that one. They do have two and a half thousand organic keywords. They are bringing in a decent amount of traffic. Now, this is their entire Precision Plus painting or PrecisionPaintingPlus.net, right? But let's take a look at what it is when I just look at their actual back page. So if I look at their back page, you get very different ideas. Or maybe not. Um, so this is when, this is their keywords for their actual back page. Contract painters don't care about neither that, but these are better, uh, except for that one. So these three are getting them some traffic to their website. Most of it's probably going to just become, just come from all over the area because I think they're ranking pretty much everywhere. But these are what they're ranking for all over the place. 2.6 thousand different ones in the area. Now again, precision painting is, is a bad one to kind of rank for. Um... They might have a blog on here as well, so definitely not the greatest ones, but they might just be far-reaching for everywhere. So I'm not seeing any great keywords here either, but as you can see, New York City Painters, great. They're, they're you know, 37 people, uh, and they're bringing, they're on position five for that. Queens Painters, boom. Uh, 200 people a month search for that. They're getting 35 of them to their website because they're in position three. So they're doing pretty good as far as bringing in people go. So how does this really help you out? Honestly, all you got to do is we got to increase your backlinks, find the really good ones from them. I, you're not going to get all 704. Okay, that's just very unrealistic. But you can start by getting only the really strong ones, you know, and then finally, it's content. We need co more content on your homepage talking about what it is you actually do kind of separating between your, uh, you know, even if you just do the homepage on that one, right, where you're just putting in all of your um, services kind of dividing it all up. And then finally included in that is all your organic keywords, you need to get that in there. Now, you're only bringing in one person through your website right now, according to this. Um, so imagine if you can bring an additional 50. What would that do for you? Anyway, that's all I got. Keith, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out.